Hey everybody, this is Jaegermom, and today I'm going to bring you a custom class guide from user recommendations and also some YouTuber recommendations. So I have some more experience in this game now. When I first made my custom class guide, I was pretty fresh to the game. Didn't really have a complete understanding about what exactly is the best weapon combination to use with what classes and stuff. So today I thought I'd bring you something, uh, create a class guide with a little bit more information in it. Something that is well informed and actually people are using. So let me go to my secret identity, go to edit loadouts. So you notice the names of these classes. I actually asked some uh, YouTubers as well as some of you guys, some subscribers, um, which classes you like to use when it's your go to class. So what, so these are classes that people use when they feel the ones they feel most comfortable with. And they're also ones that are actually pretty good. So let me take you through Red Hams. So Red Ham, USLA. His favorite setup here, he likes the Gatekeeper with Penetrator Ammo um, and, and a Partisan with a Reflex Sight. So he has both a short range and a long range weapon. He told me that he loves the character of the uh, tough body type because he feels too fat and slow with the Burly or the Mighty. But he likes just the, the, the nimble speed that it gives you as well as the just a little bit extra health. One thing I like here is that he is using motion sensors. So motion sensors not only help your team out, but it helps you top the leaderboards a lot. So motion sensors put a little red dot on the map, letting you know where the enemy is, which helps you get easier kills. But every time someone gets a kill within that radius, it also gives you points for that, which is really cool. So since he is using the gatekeeper, uh, a fairly close to medium range weapon, he pairs this well with roller skates. So roller skates allow him to get up in their face, allows him to stay mobile, and allows him to move while he's shooting, which is pretty nice. And his fun facts, which you're going to see a lot of difference from my original video, a lot of the good players are running fun fact number one as wallflower. So wallflower allows you to stay invisible essentially, it doesn't allow you to be targeted by motion sensors, it doesn't allow you to be tagged by the targeting goggles. So it's a really nice fact, uh, a really nice fun fact. In theory, you would think this actually helps you more than horse healthy. It helps you more than other things by basically eliminating damage by not letting the enemy know where you are initially. So when they can't predict where you are, it actually eliminates the damage. And a lot of times you can sneak up on people, surprise them when they do have someone that's just targeting like crazy. Second fun fact I like here is hard target. So he does not take any extra damage from headshots. What's cool about this is this body type, it's kind of an unusual build. So he's a fairly mediocre size all the way around, which lends itself to making easy headshots. So this guy's head, the character's um, animations and things like that, make his head an easy target. And hard target here actually eliminates that extra damage that someone would get. What I like about his fun fact, uh, not his fun fact, what I like about his rampage, kill crazy. So kill crazy gives you an added boost in damage. And the cool thing about kill crazy is if you can get into an area and pop this rampage off right before you encounter a large amount of, a large group of enemies, you can actually stack kill crazies on top of kill crazies. What I mean about this is the one kill crazy, since you're doing double damage and you earn it by inflicting damage, um, you can actually get um, tag team these things back to back to back so kill crazy has been finding its way into my favorite classes as well and it's shown up in a good youtuber here by red ham and you'll see this with all of us i believe psych profile is always typically going to be histrionic because we can um usually stay in the top of the leaderboard it gives us an extra bonus in the end of the match that helps us level up a lot quicker so i really like this class by red ham the next class I'm bringing you is from Akazuma. So Akazuma is going to be fresh into YouTube now. He said he wasn't going to be making any videos really until he hits level 1000. So he now recently has hit level 1000. So expect um, videos to be putting up on his game on his channel where he is going to be rocking out. So I asked him what his favorite class is. And if you notice here, he has two long range weapons, but I've watched a few of his gameplays and I've played with him. And I know that he actually uses the Huntsman as his close range weapon. So when he gets in a close quarters combat situation, he swaps to the Huntsman and his trigger finger is like crazy fast, which I love that. The Huntsman doesn't really suffer from loss of accuracy when you fire so quickly, if it is at close range. 
Another thing I've been flirting around with since he's told me this class is the care package. So being that he has two long range weapons, his job is more of like setting up a post, um, holding down an area, and the roller skates here are only mainly just to get to those points. So he often plays Psych Warfare and other uh, objective based game types. And the roller skates help him get to the spot, the power positions that he wants to hold down. And then the care package keeps him supplied so he can maintain those positions. So I really like that. Um, his character here is a burly character. He gets the added health with fun fact number one of horse healthy, but also he gets the added health from the burly character itself. It's not too slow with paired with the roller skates, and it's not too weak that he, he feels like he can survive a really long time. Another added fact when using horse healthy is that it, let me go to the fun fact. It actually lets you regen your health faster by using care packages and health stations and energy drinks. So you'll notice that he's pairing these well. There's a lot of synergy between his fun fact and a support item, which helps him survive a lot longer. Uh, you'll be seeing marksmen a lot. Uh, a lot of the times these guys just like to you know put out the maximum amount of damage they feel that their skill in maneuvering the characters is good enough that they can avoid damage so fun fact number two will often be um, marksman in this case so now we have Ryu Ryu is actually one of a character build that I actually like to use a lot so I really like pairing a nimble character with inflatable insoles so the inflatable character the inflatable character she's not a blow-up doll even though she kinda looks like one the inflatable insoles paired with a nimble character allow you to bounce even higher than you do just with any other character because I guess she has some special gymnastics training. Um, so I really like pairing the inflatable insoles with a nimble character. Um, he's also using a fairly long range weapon but he's pairing it here with the penetrating ammo. So a lot of people in GCI like to use uh, the body armor. The body armor is a pain in the butt, but if you use the penetrating ammo, it pretty much takes care of that. So he has the long range weapon of the partisan, and like a short to medium range of fast firing submachine gun as his backup weapon. Another cool thing he has here is the element of surprise, and what I mean by that is he also has the wallflower just like Red Ham did, but the surprise comes in the fact that you don't see him on the radar, you don't see him anywhere being targeted, and next thing you know you're getting clobbered by a boomerang being stunned. So I really like that combination as well. And I spoke to the other facts about the marksman and the kill crazy and the histrionic. They're all, they're all well spoken of so I won't really need to go into detail. One thing that I do swap out in this class sometimes is fun fact number one. So being that she is like fairly fast. Sometimes I like to throw fleet footed in here. So you've seen in my gold kingmaker, not my gold kingmaker gameplay, but the kingmaker gameplay is going up to gold. I use fleet footed. So I love the fact that she can just sprint around, make her even more of a hard target uh, to hit, even though it isn't the fun fact hard target. But fleet footed allows her just to get around, jump faster, jump higher, everything you can think of. So that could be something you can consider swapping out fleet footed in that situation. Now Trotsky's also going back to the burly character here, and he's pairing this with the inflatable insoles. So to be honest, this class right here is probably my favorite class that I actually use and can get good gameplays with. This is the one that you've seen flawless on 25th floor, things like that. So it, it's all essentially the same. What these good players are doing is pairing a long, long range rifle with a medium to short range submachine gun or you can even swap this out with a shotgun if you feel comfortable with that as well but that synergy right there allows you to have maximum coverage depending on what kind of uh, close quarters or long range situation you find yourself in and also the good players are pairing up horse healthy with an energy drink or a care package of sorts so it allows you to regen your get your health back a lot quicker like I said, this right here is probably my go-to class, just the same as it is Trotsky's. I could feel comfortable going into any situation with this. And yeah, so that's enough about this one. And last but not least, this is Angel's tank build class. So Angel has a rough time sometimes because of his internet connection. He had, And this may help you guys as well. So his internet's not necessarily the best and he often feels like he's lagging or he's just a couple steps behind people. Um, when you feel that way, try out Angel's class here. 
So he's going with all damage mitigation possible with the body armor. He's using horse healthy, kind of bulletproof. So all the things that give him a better resistance to damage, um, that that's what he goes for. And I actually think, I'm not quite certain on this, but he may have also swapped out tough as nails instead of kill crazy here. So I'm going to put that on for him right now. If, if uh, it's not correct and that's not what he intended, he'll probably fix me on this one. But being that that he does have the bad internet connection having time to react is crucial for him an angel is an absolute beast with the persuader so he has a medium range weapon with the shredder fast fire rate i absolutely love this gun this is my first gold gun personally probably my favorite gun in the game it's the most versatile in my opinion and i think it can inflict damage really quickly the only problem is you have to have a burly or a mighty character just to wield the thing because it's so freaking heavy but Angel, when he gets in a close quarter situation, he will be whipping out the Persuader and he will dominate people with it. And I know from playing with Angel a lot that even though he's using the glider rig here, he doesn't really dive bomb that much. The glider rig doesn't necessarily have to be the douchebag dive bombering rig that everybody uses it for. The glider is really nice just to get around the map, especially for a mighty character. So you are fat, you are slow. It's, you don't have to dive bomb everybody. You can dive bomb and essentially do speed bursts to get to locations. And I know that's what Angel uses it for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, once again, these are some good YouTubers. I will be putting links in the description to all of their channels respectively. Um, some good players in general. I know a lot of these guys have over a 2KD or near a 2KD. These are just some of their go-to classes. So let me run it through again. Red Ham. Akazuma, Ryu, Trotsky, and essentially my class as well, and Avenging Angel. So please let me know if you have some separate class setup that you like to use, put that in the comment section. I like to hear about it, and I also like to try different things. Maybe something that works for you will work for me as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a comment, like it, subscribe if you haven't already, throw it in your favorites, I don't care. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. This has been Jaegerbaum. I'm out.